People ask me this question all the time. So when is porn healthy? And that's a fair question in today's day and age. We live in a world of constant stimulation that is absolutely everywhere. So I can see how it can be difficult for people to understand, perhaps, you know, that this answer isn't black and white, but it is not hard to see the answer is neurological. This video is brought to you by my HarperCollins published book, Mind Over Explicit Matter. If you're ready to quit porn and reclaim your life mentally and physically, go over to drtrishlee.com backslash book. Today, we are diving into the neuroscience behind arousal and how stimulation can either support healthy connection or hijack your wiring entirely. I am Dr. Trish Lee. Let's dive in. So your brain is built to respond to intrigue. It's how we learn. It's how we evolve. Each time you see something new or even something exciting, your brain releases dopamine. It's the chemical of motivation and importantly, of pursuit. Dopamine in and of itself isn't bad. It's absolutely essential. It pushes us toward our goals, our relationships, creativity, and healthy intimacy. But the system was designed for this effort followed by reward. So ask yourself this question. When you're watching porn, what effort are you actually putting in? You're not pursuing connection. You're not earning intimacy with another human being. You're not risking rejection. You're simply pressing an easy button. One click, instant, artificially high levels of dopamine, you guessed it, linked to the unreality of porn. And that right there, my friend, is the problem. Your brain's reward system was built to link pleasure to effort, to the journey, not just to the outcome. So when you remove the work, the waiting, the uncertainty, you strip the system of what makes satisfaction last. Digital stimulation gives you the illusion of achievement without any of the neurological benefits of real connection. Now, I see this in QEG brain maps every single week. The shift is clear. The reward centers, they light up. High beta activity in the limbic system, while the prefrontal cortex, captain of the ship, that's in charge of executive control, judgment, impulse control, self-regulation that leads a person to be able to control their own behaviors while maintaining connection, well, it goes dark. So read this, no control, no connection. So it's like you're feeding your brain junk food. It's quick, it's easy, it's engineered to taste amazing, but it's empty. There's no nourishment. There's no depth. There's no balance. The Hubs keeps talking about NDF, nutritionally deficient food. So I want you to think of explicit matter as nutritionally deficient content. The more you consume it, the more your brain adjusts. The dopamine receptors, they dull. Your sensitivity drops. And the parts of your brain that are built for focus and connection, they grow weaker every time. So now you need more intensity. You need more salt. You need more sugar. You need more stimulation just to feel normal. And just like junk food leaves your body craving nutrients, overstimulation leaves your brain starving for real connection. That's the tipping point when stimulation stops being healthy and it starts being compulsive. So what does healthy look like neurologically? First thing I want you to know is indeed there is an optimal brain performance pattern. I call it the green zone. The green zone is what leads you to feel calm, focused, confident, creating the direction in your own life. It's amazing. It's about balance that allows you to show up each and every day to achieve the state that you want 
when you want to achieve it. That means when you want or you need to be able to get into a certain state. It leads to calm focus throughout your days, restful and restorative sleep at night, and yes, healthy sexual arousal when you and your honey choose to be together. It leads to pleasure, happiness, and connection. A little thing I like to call joy, my friend. So healthy brain function is not about never feeling arousal. It's about how you go about getting there. Healthy stimulation is contextual. It includes real connection. It includes emotion. It includes choice. Your brain's reward system and the prefrontal cortex, they stay in sync. They're working and they're connecting the way that they work together. So in this way, you feel desire, not just urges and cravings that signal dependence. So think of it this way. If you're at your desk and you're working and you suddenly feel a sexual urge, how could that ever be about healthy arousal? Unless, of course, you just got a text that fills you with desire for your honey who just lets you know she's on her way home for afternoon delight. So this is what I'm talking about. When you train your brain on quick and instant relief in this self-stimulating, artificial stimuli situation that disconnects you from healthy connection, you're hijacking the very systems that are designed for healthy arousal. This, in fact, is why so many men struggle with sexual arousal dysfunction, what I call SAD, and erectile dysfunction. They have miswired their brains. So what happens is you become a passenger in this hijacked arousal system. You're no longer in the driver's seat. That's compulsion. That's dependence. But the good news is that our brains are neuroplastic and you can change it. When you get into the real world and you make conversation and you have eye contact and you feel desire at a touch, you're teaching your brain to reconnect instead of to consume. So if you're stuck in this porn addiction loop, I want you to know you can break free. You can re-achieve healthy sexual arousal and rewire that reward system back to the green zone because healthy stimulation, it's not about elimination per se of arousal. It's about regulation. So when does porn become healthy? It's healthy when it doesn't hijack your brain and it doesn't threaten your real life thinking and feeling. When your brain's reward system belongs to you, which unfortunately is basically never in this situation, because we know that porn consumption leads to the silent tsunami. It cracks the foundation of your brain's regulation and it leads to the downward spiral of the negative feedback loop that will inevitably lead you into compulsion. So if you want to break free, please go over to drtrishlee.com and check out brain mapping and neurofeedback with protocols that I specifically have designed after working with tens of thousands of men who struggle with hypersexuality and with sexual arousal dysfunction. Your brain can be rewired back. That miswiring can be a thing of the past. Okay. Until next time, control your brain or it will in fact control you. I'll see you then.